Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mr. B and this is your one-stop shop for what to watch on YouTube. So this week was a big week for Apple with their annual developers conference. I tuned in to have a look and see what they had in store for us and it was quite a lot. So if you missed out, stay tuned. Don't forget to click like and share and enjoy. Great to have you here, iPad OS 14. Let's take a look at some of the enhancements to iPad OS. Starting with photos. iPad is the perfect device for browsing your photos. Its large canvas lets you immerse yourself in all your favorite memories. And this year, we're making it even easier to browse and organize your photos with an all new sidebar. With just a tap of this button, I can reveal the sidebar with all the core functionality of the app in a single location. My photos remain front and center, but now I can quickly tap to move between parts of the app. The sidebar is a really powerful way to organize your photos too. I can easily drag a photo to the sidebar and then just drop it to add it to an album. Music has been updated to take even better advantage of iPad's large screen. The sidebar in music makes it easy to move between views. I can quickly jump between the new Listen Now and my playlists. And once I start playing a song, I can bring up the brand new full screen player where I can see rich album art, transport controls, and lyrics all in one single view. Now an incoming call is presented with a compact notification that doesn't take you out of context. And you can simply tap to answer or flick it away to dismiss. And this applies to all calls, including those from your iPhone or third party VoIP apps like Skype. And of course, we're bringing this to iOS as well. So this year, we're bringing Scribble to iPad. So you can handwrite into any text field and it will automatically be converted to text. I'm really excited to show you some of the great new features that we have for Apple Pencil and iPad OS this year. I can just start writing anywhere. And it's not just about text. I can also express myself with drawings or shapes. But sometimes you want that more professional, cleaned up look. And so now when I draw a simple shape and pause at the end, it'll automatically convert to that ideal shape. With Scribble for handwriting into any text field, a whole new way to work with your handwritten notes, broad enhancements to the app experience, and of course, iPad users also benefit from the great features you already saw in iOS 14 and much more that we didn't have time to talk about. So that's iOS and iPadOS. Since we launched Apple Watch, it's completely redefined what a watch can do. And this has been incredibly meaningful work. We're taking this even further in watchOS 7, starting with complications. Until today, an app could appear in only one spot at a time on a watch face. In watchOS 7, developers can enable multiple complications, making even more richly personal watch faces. We're also bringing rich complications to more faces, including a fresh chronograph face with an integrated tachymeter and an updated extra large face with a huge rich complication right in the center. And configuring watch faces has been redesigned so you can easily select which information you'd like to see. As developers with watchOS 7, you can now build your rich complications with native SwiftUI. With watchOS 7, we're making it super easy to share watch faces so you can discover a face that works perfectly for you. To do this, we're introducing face sharing. You'll be able to discover curated faces with third-party apps on the App Store, or discover a new favorite watch face right on a website, or receive watch faces directly from friends and family. When you see a watch face you'd like, you just press Add Apple Watch Face. If the watch face uses some apps that you don't have yet, you'll be offered each one right here so you can easily get them if you like. And the new face appears right on your watch. Dance is a total body workout that's great for your heart. It makes you more fit and flexible, and you're guaranteed to have fun. Whether you're doing hip hop, Latin, Bollywood, or simply cardio dance. The workout app now tracks some of the world's most popular styles of dance for fitness. 
In dance, we combine data from the accelerometer and the gyroscope to detect the difference between dancing with just your arms, just your lower body, or when you put it all together and dance with your entire body. Then we add in heart rate data for the most accurate calorie burn calculation. WatchOS 7 also tracks accurate calories for core training, those exercises for your abs and back. Functional strength training, a workout type that helps you get stronger and move better for everyday activities and also cool downs. To add on to another workout when you want to continue with easy moves and stretches as you bring your heart rate and breathing back to normal. In addition to sleep keeping you healthy, there's another preventative care item that's so important, particularly now, hand washing. In WatchOS 7, Apple Watch is the first watch to deliver automatic detection when you start washing your hands and sensing of how long you actually wash. Our approach here is using machine learning models to determine motion which appears to be hand washing and then use audio to confirm the sound of running water or squishing soap on your hands. During this, you'll get a little coaching to do a good job. You'll see a countdown along with haptics and sounds to make sure you wash as long as you're supposed to. If you pause early, there's a polite note to keep washing. And when you're done, you'll see, hear, and feel it. That's just some of what's coming this year in watchOS 7 including discovering and sharing faces, new workout types, sleep and hand washing detection, and other new capabilities like Siri language translation. And that's Apple Watch. Now, let's talk about some big changes coming to macOS. Our next release of macOS is macOS Big Sur. Now, on the Mac, we love our ability to get directly at controls, like Wi-Fi or sound. And you can see that we've reworked these to be even more useful. But we've gone even further this year by giving you one place to get at all your controls. We've brought Control Center to the Mac. All of my controls are here, and it's really easy to make adjustments. For instance, I could change display brightness here, or I can click to dive in for more, like turning on dark mode or activating night shift. And what's really cool is that I can customize the menu bar with any of these controls. So say I want one-click access to Do Not Disturb, well, I can just click and drag it right into my menu bar and customize just like that. Now we've also reinvented Notification Center. You can access it by clicking on the time in the upper right. And as you see, we now have a single view that brings your notifications and widgets together all in one place. We now group related notifications together. You can easily expand them to take a closer look or clear them all out in one step. And we're bringing our redesigned widgets to the Mac. I'm just gonna click Edit Widgets down here at the bottom. And you can see I have a gallery of all my widgets and they come in a variety of sizes. I can select between them just like this. Adding widgets is easy. Let's uh, start by adding, say, the world clock. Maybe I'll add notes in. And it'd be kind of cool to add my reminders list as well, messages. We're introducing powerful search to help you find what you're looking for. We have a redesigned photo picker to make sharing photos and videos easier. And Memoji. You can now create and edit your Memoji right on your Mac. Messages effects helps you celebrate special moments and get your point across. And you're also getting pin conversations that are synced across devices so you can always get to them, along with new groups enhancements, Safari. And now when it comes to page loading, we're even faster there too. In fact, when loading frequently visited websites, Safari is now on average more than 50% faster than Chrome. And Safari delivers this amazing performance while continuing to deliver industry-leading battery life. And of course, Safari is continuing to build on its pioneering track record of protecting user privacy. This year, we want to give our users even more visibility into how each site they visit tries to track them and the ways that Safari protects them. So now users can click on the privacy report button in the toolbar when they visit a site to better understand how that site is treating their privacy. In addition to monitoring unwanted tracking, Safari now also securely monitors your saved passwords to ensure that they haven't been compromised in a data breach. I'm so excited to give you a tour of the brand new Safari. When you open Safari, right away, you'll notice the new look. It's clean and fresh. It's easy to get to the customization controls here in the bottom corner. We think a lot of people are gonna to wanna to set a background image. And there's a beautiful gallery of curated wallpapers to choose from. 
You can use one of your own photos too, and I know I want a photo of my son. I have a few really cute ones here in the downloads. I can just drag and drop to set it. You can add new sections to the start page too. Let's add iCloud tabs and reading list. Let's take a look. There, this is perfect. I use reading list all the time and now it's so easy to get to. And that's macOS Big Sur, the biggest update to design since the original introduction of macOS 10, significant updates to messages and maps, and the biggest update to Safari ever.